Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Caden and today we are going to be showing you a tutorial on how to actually allocate more memory to the custom clients that we created for Minecraft in the previous episode. If you haven't actually seen that tutorial, I suggest you click on the annotations above and that will bring you to the tutorial in question. It's a great tutorial and it definitely helps you organize your separate Minecraft files. To see what I mean by this, we have basically three separate folders, each independent from each other, that you can modify in any way that you want. So you can have one specific one for multiplayer, you can have one specific one for single player, and another one just for testing purposes or to basically just, you know, throw a bunch of mods at it and see what happens. We're going to be opening up this text file here, and uh, this might be a little bit confusing, but basically this is what you need for uh, Minecraft. I'm going to leave this in the description below, so do not worry about it. I'll show you some of the different combinations that you might want to do and try. Keep in mind that the first number in this has to be half the size of the second number. So if we want the second number here, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be half the size. Well, it does. You'll see. So we'll want to do that right there. And again, if you want to double it up, you can. Keep in mind that you kind of want to be under the... Well, definitely you want to be under the amount of RAM that you have. So if you have enough RAM, you can do this. Let's go to our control panel. Let's go to our system settings. You'll see in here how much RAM you have. I have four gigabytes RAM on here, which means that I definitely would want to keep at least, at least 1.5 gigabytes for, you know, Windows 7. So for now, I'm just going to set it to this one right here. It'll be somewhere in between 1 and 2 gigabytes, which is what you probably want, actually, if you have a strong enough computer. I don't think you really need anything more than that. You should be fine. Okay, so let's play around with that. <clears throat> the first one that I'm going to show you, again, really quickly, is this is the single-player game. If you hit F3, you will see that I have only 490 megabytes allocated to this. So what we're going to do is quickly exit out. We will edit it. You can do it one of two ways. You can edit it in Notepad or edit it in things like Notepad++, which is so much nicer. And I'm actually going to do it in there because it's easier to follow. As you can see, it's right here. So all that we'd really have to do is just stick this part in here and attach a quotation at the end. So this is all that you have to do if you've been following from the previous tutorial that I've done. Again, the annotation is above, so you can actually check that out. And again, click on single player. This command console will appear in the background. All you have to do after th this main window opens up is just close it down. That's all. Anyways, so again, we're going to be logging in. We're going to be going into single player. We're gonna actually going to be going to the, you know, Castlecade and Sexy tutorial, which I created again, previous episode. As you can see, I'm still on the treetop and let's hit F3 this time. As you can see, we now have almost one gigabyte allocated to Minecraft specifically. And with things like, actually I don't have it uh, enabled right now, but with things like Optifine, that can definitely help you out. So yeah, I've pretty much shown you how to create a custom client in the previous episode or custom clients, multiple custom clients on the previous episode. And this episode, I've shown you how to allocate more memory to said custom clients. That's fairly simple. Now, let's say you download the Minecraft.exe but don't want to do this part. What you can do is locate your Minecraft.exe. Let's say I put it on my desktop. What you'll want to do is create a new text file or txt file. If you don't have .txt at the end, what I do suggest you do is click on my computer, go to folders and search options, go to view at the top, and make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. What that'll allow you to do is it will in fact create a .txt at the end, which is what you want. Anyways, for now we're actually going to be going directly into the folder and what you want to do is, uh, or sorry, into the file and what you want to do is uh, copy paste. Again, you can do this from the description, that's not an issue. And the location, this will be different on your system. For Windows 7 users, it'll be under C colon backslash users backslash your username backslash desktop backslash Minecraft. And just to verify, that is right here. 
So yeah, I will be putting in, for example, Andrew right there with a capital. And desktop is also capital and Minecraft is also capital. So that is it. All you'd have to do then is save it, go to it, name it whatever you want. Let's play Minecraft. And then rename the extension from a .txt to a .bat. At that point, all you'd want to do, oh, wait. Right, I have the shortcut. So when you download it, what you'd want to do is actually um, grab the actual folder and drag it in. I'm actually going to quickly do that. Okay, now that I actually have the actual file, let's try that again. Voila, it's all in there. So again, we can go to it, and I will show you that we do in fact have more memory allocated for the default. This might take a little bit longer, but that's okay. This one also does have some mods already on it. Okay, so we are in a different location altogether. Let's hit F3. Ah, not screenshot. As you can see, this now has 981. So this is the one gigabyte of RAM that you are looking for for Minecraft. So not only have I shown you how to do it with the custom clients, I've also shown you how to do it with the specific Minecraft.exe that you can download from the Minecraft.net website. That's pretty much it, actually. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and do keep in mind again that these will be located at the bottom of the description below. And do keep in mind, I'm sorry that it is a very long description. I like long descriptions. But yeah, no, it will be at the bottom for you guys. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been Kestel Caden. Leave a like, subscribe, leave comments. I love your comments. I will reply to them. Until next time, guys. Keep modding.